So today we are uh, last experiment of this heat transfer lamp that is the raw voice and uh, film voice condensation. Before starting the experiment, uh, just we will talk about condensation. Condensation is nothing but change of phase from vapor state to liquid state. So from uh, temperature while decreasing the temperature from vapor to liquid, so it will form or it will uh, condenses. From uh, one state to other state, from vapor state to liquid state. So that process is known as condensation process. This condensation process will occur in two types. One is the drop voice condensation. One more is the film voice condensation. Drop voice condensation is nothing but the condensation will uh, along the surface. It will form in terms of droplets. So droplets liquid will be formed around the surface of. Uh, uh, any surface. So that type of condensation is known as drop ice condensation. Whereas in the film ice, we will have the continuous uh, liquid uh, film will be there on the surface. So that type of condensation is known as film ice condensation. So this will depend upon the types of material, the transfer coefficient and uh, fluid characteristics. So several parameters, this formation of condensation will depend. So now we will uh, discuss uh, about this uh, drop ice and film ice condensation. In this experiment, you are going to find out heat transfer coefficient of drop ice condensation as well as film ice condensation. So, in this experiment, we can see over here the boiler. So, for boiler, we have the water inlet. So, water inlet temperature we have to note down. This one will be the T1 temperature. So, water will come over here boiler. So, we are maintaining the pressure of uh, 0.5 kg per centimeter square. So this pressure, it will be there inside this uh, boiler. With respect to that pressure, it will boil the water. So steam will be formed in this boiler and this steam will come over here. So here two valves are provided. So one is for your uh, drop voice condensation, one more is for your uh, film voice condensation. So whichever experiment you need it. So with respect to that, we have to operate this valve. So here it is, we have the copper tube. So copper tube, here uh, drop ice condensation will occur. Whereas here a plated copper tube is there, plated copper tube, where we, we will get the film ice condensation. So now this steam will be coming over outside the surface of your uh, copper tube. Inside the copper tube, we will flow the water. So this water will be, flow will be adjusted over here. With respect to here, we are maintaining 20 cc per second uh, water flow rate. So for both the cases, we are maintaining the 20 cc per uh, second water flow rate inside this tube. So here, we have to, outside this tube, we are sending the steam. Inside the cold water is flowing. So and transfer of heat will take place. So this steam will condenses over the your surface of your tube. So here condenses will take place by drop wise. So hence it is called as drop wise condensation. So with respect to this, we have to find out the heat transfer coefficient. Similarly over here, we have to inside this plated copper tube, cold water will flow. Now we are sending the steam outside this tube. So what will happen? Condensation will begin. So condensation, what will become? Your film wise condensation will be there. Continuous layer of uh, water will be there. So hence the film will be formed. And that type of condensation is known as film wise condensation. With respect to this, we have to note down the temperature. Then we have to find out the heat transfer coefficient for your film wise condensation. So here temperature uh, panel reading will be there. T1 represent your water inlet temperature. And T2 will represent copper tube surface temperature. We have the surface temperature is there. One is for your uh, copper tube. One more is your for your uh, plated copper tube. That temperature you have to note down. Then T4 will be the plated copper tube. This one is the T4. Then we have to measure the outlet temperatures.